Let's push it. The way these work, these machines are pre-programmed using random number generators. So that you may think that you have a lucky turn coming up, but as soon as you push the button, it's already, the outcome is already known. Guys, we're going to do the event right at 12.05, so thanks for your patience, and uh, feel free if anyone wants to sign up, you know, we're kind of screening people, what wants to be a, a swinger, one of the people that swing the machine, I invite you to come forward and talk to me. Uh, and then anyone wants to talk to David Blankenhorn or any, anyone else after the event, we'll, we'll definitely be here as we, as we clean up. And you would be more than welcome to take a swing. I know no, that. I know. It's not something I can I know do. That. That's right. But anyway, tell me a little bit why you're here, why you're doing this. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming here on this beautiful day. Uh, behind me is a slot machine. Slot machines exist to take advantage of you and take your money. Uh, it's the only reason they exist. And uh, that's why. Fiorello LaGuardia, the great mayor of New York, called them mechanical pickpockets. That's why he made a brochure for New Yorkers called You Can't Win in the Slot Machine Racket, because you can't. And that's why our state constitution has always, and still today, outlaws these machines. Now, this year, Governor Cuomo and some other political leaders want us to change our constitution so that they can bring thousands and thousands more of these machines into our state in order to tax them, in order to get money for the government. And that's their idea. And it is a terrible idea. And Mayor LaGuardia knew that cheating people in order to get money for the government, particularly when the people being cheated were vulnerable people, uh, lower wage workers, retirees, uh, the people who could least afford it. Mayor LaGuardia knew that this was a bad way to raise money for the government. Former Governor Mario Cuomo knew that this was a terrible way to raise money for the government and he said so over and over again when he was in office. So that's why we are going to do today, to this slot machine, uh, exactly what Mayor LaGuardia did to some slot machines back when he was mayor. Yeah. Barbara Whitehead is the author of a, a scholarly report and to further her scholarship, here we go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I'd like to introduce Dr. Stephen Schaefer, a retired medical professor at Columbia University. Thank you all for coming. Much appreciated. Happy to talk with you and uh, have a great day, everybody. Yeah.
by David White. He's batting leadoff. He's the guy that offered him 40 years of promise. He's never wanted to do this. Years. I I just have been wanting to do this, and what what really got it for me was was Lombardi. He had a slot machine expose in Rockefeller Center. He had Columbia professors come in to explain to the public how they worked. He was a mayor who did not want ordinary New Yorkers getting cheated with these machines. So we're really honoring him today with this reenactment.